Hey guys, I got a kind of bad update, but yet again a good thing. This right here, I was trying to install Ubuntu on my XP machine. I used this as an MS-DOS boot disk to get rid of the grub using a command called fdisk. And uh, I had two partitions, Ubuntu and Windows. But from what I read on the forums, uh, you can just delete the partition. I didn't know there was two at first. So I thought I had the right partition because it was a non-DOS, but it was the Windows partition that got deleted. So this pretty much wiped my hard drive. No more Windows XP. And I've been. I didn't. I actually got to stay home today to do to work on it, to fix it, because I I told my parents what happened. So I, luckily, I got to stay home. Um, and luckily, I found this. Recovery discs. I found them. My dad just told me where the bin was. Not only that, I found a huge m amount of software all in this bin. All full of CDs, software. So I'm going to be doing a fresh install. I do have some info backed up on my external. So uh, I'll go through that later on. I'm going to try and I'll try and get some more videos in. And mo I didn't lose any important data, which is good. Uh, but I'll look into seeing what I can get back. Hopefully, I can get most of my data back. What I'm really worried about is my iTunes library and stuff like that. Anyways, guys, just a really quick update. I'm going to go through system recovery now, and then I'll get back to you. Hey, guys, can you do it here? I just want to go through uh, something on, uh, well, if you ever have to go through your system recovery disks, and if your system ever crashes, or anything like that. So I'm going to reinstall Windows. Here's all my four uh, recovery disks for Windows XP Home Edition. Um, so let me show you walking through how to get this. First off, you're going to want to go into your BIOS, your uh, or your CMOS, whatever you know, setup utility. And this is just you know you hit F1 or whatever your key is to get into setup during the boot screen. So you do that, and then you're going to want to head over to something that says boot. Go to boot device priority. And as it says, first boot device priority. Change that to CD-ROM, and change the second boot to a hard drive. Just for now, hit F10 to save your settings. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my CD tray right now. I'm going to actually, and actually, if you have two CD drives, uh, you can actually go to CD boot priority and select your slave and master. Uh, you know, drive. I know that sounds kind of weird, but you want your master drive, which will be your first priority to boot into. Second would be your other dr CD drive. So I'm just gonna switch this around here. I'm gonna make this the. Oh, actually, hang on one second. This would be the boot. To select a boot sequence, use the up or down arrow press. Okay, hang on. Okay, so you can change that there. Whatever you want to do there. So yeah. And uh, so like I said, just boot it from your CD. And I'm going to insert this in my CD-ROM drive. And hit F10 to save it. And boot hopefully into the CD. So it's going to boot into the CD now. After this. I have to step through system recovery. So I'll get I'll get back to you as soon as system recovery is done. Thanks for hey that. Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry, if you guys can hear that in the background, I just want you to hear this. Listen to this. The CD drive is rolling when I put the recovery disk in. And now it's just got a blank screen loading. I actually have six recovery disks. I just found more. But listen to this. Not the free drives, but uh, I can't turn the camera. That thing is rolling, guys. So I'm gonna go through this. Uh, luckily, I did find some more Microsoft software in there. Uh, it's hard. It's doing a hard disk preparation right now, so. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure this goes all, through, all the way through. I still have a long time, and then I'm gonna what do you call that? I'm gonna go ahead and install the software. So if you can't hear me over that noise, I'm trying to talk as loud as I can. And uh, right here, it's just talking about system recovery. So I will be back, okay, guys. Well, it's running through system recovery still, just copying all the system files over, and then it's gonna finalize the recovery and should be done after that. So it'll maybe take another 30, 40 minutes. Who knows? Maybe it's actually not that long, but uh. So, you know, big loss, obviously, because I lost a lot of files. Though, now I can have the whole hard drive back, because I wanted it all in one partition. <laughs> if you excuse me there, sorry about that. Uh, 
So guys, right now it's just uh, moving all the system files over, and the uh, CD drive quieted down now. But uh, I found the antivirus software that's good. Uh, I'll be reinstalling that first thing. So uh, you know, I'll tell them to go about and get all the security done. Then I'm gonna tweak the system all the way back. I have the whole day to do this, guys. Uh, it's only one o'clock. I have to till ten nine hours. And I'm gonna be working on this nonstop. Trust me. It's partly, I guess you'd say, most likely my fault, but uh. I should have looked into it more, I should have backed up more data than I did, but uh, what's the good thing is, uh, I'm probably going to upgrade to XP Pro and since this happened, not just because, you know, just, I know, you know, it won't solve my problem, but just because, you know, now I have a fresh start, um, I'll be doing a video on how to, what to install from scratch, I'll be getting lighter programs, to, uh, you know, stuff like that, and I'll be doing, you know, refreshing the whole system, so it's, I you know, Starting back from the basics, and sometimes that's all you need, but that's the good thing. Uh, I'll be learning, you know, throughout this, and I'll try and make a tutorial. Uh, I'll be installing Cam Studio and Firefox and all those stuff. And I also have, uh, I'll have to install Vegas Pro. That's gonna, that might take a sec, a while. Uh, all my projects are gone, which, oh, that's what I just remembered. My projects for Vegas are gone, which sucks really, really bad, because I was working on a lightsaber one and that one took forever to work on. All my videos are gone, but most of them are already uploaded to YouTube, so if I ever need them, I can re you know, download them. Uh, some of my podcasts are on my external hard drive, so that's good. Uh, the podcast will still be fine, that's, you know. Um, but yeah, I'll be going towards more open source software, and I also have a Adobe software that I have to install that I found here. Look, if you guys can't look at this, all the stuff right here. Look at all, it's under that bag, but if you look at it, it's a huge amount of CDs. Uh, so I'll be installing some Adobe software also, that'll be cool. Uh, just to give you a hint, I got some Dreamweaver, Flash, big ones actually, so that's cool. And some cool ones that uh, I have some more software in my sister, my sister has software in her room because she does some work at, for her. Uh, she, she uses uh, Adobe software a lot, editing software that is, uh, that I'll be able to download now. And I also found. Pinnacle Studio. This probably, I don't know if this is probably an older version. It's version 8. But hey, uh, I wouldn't mind trying it out and do some tutorials on it if anybody uses it. So yeah, uh, that would be cool. Anyways, guys, uh, a lot of software to install, a lot of software. But uh, with this, you know, like I said, a fresh new start, and I'll get back to you after this is done recovering. Thanks for watching. Oh, stay tuned. Okay, recovery is done now, and uh, we're here at the system settings, and you have to set up the account. And I'll be talking in the intro but I'm just going to go in and set up an account, and then I'll meet you back when we get to start up. Okay, guys, I just officially got the Windows up. I have to run some Windows updates. It's a home edition, and it came with a whole bunch of bloatware, so I have to uninstall that, I should say. And I'll get back to you after that. Hey, guys, okay, well, I'm here on, uh, I'm here installing all the software now. I'm going to go through and, uh, install everything. I'm going to go first get Firefox so I can get everything. But, yeah, anyways, guys, uh, I'll get back to you. I just deleted all the bloatware and stuff, so get back to you after that. Hey, guys, okay, it's all finished now. Windows XP is installed. Uh, I'm going to go download the applications that I need, and uh, I'll start making single tutorials on, you know, uh, clean install, stuff like that. So look forward. Uh, thanks, guys, for, you know, being through it all. That's, like, nine clips i got to put together. <laughs> anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and see you guys later on.